guys and welcome back to Mo's Munchiebox. So today we're at a shawarma grill on Paisley Road West. Uh, so we've heard lots of good things about this. Had a few people messages and say it's a really good place to come for a variety of meats. So we've come along, we've seen that they do a mixed grill. So when we get inside we'll order a mixed grill and let's see what the food stacks up to. So what we've also been to previously quite a few shawarma places that have done really really well. So the high uh, bar that you need to meet. So let's go inside and see if there's meat meets the standard. Hi guys, so that's us now inside the Shawarma Grill on Paisley Road West. So as you can see from in front of ourselves, we've got a rather large mixed grill. And this is a mixed grill for two people. Uh, so it came at a £32 so you get all of this meat. So you've got chicken tikka on that, you've got lamb kofta, you've got lamb shawarma, chicken shawarma and quite a lot of chicken wings, also a, uh, half a chicken. So it's quite a lot of meat for two people. We've also got a couple of nan breads and this portion of chips there. So what I'll do without further ado, let's just get stuck into the food and see what the food's like. So the first thing I'll start with is the chicken shawarma. So it's cut quite thinly, I, the size of a chicken shawarma outside the door is massive, so let's just go for it. <clears throat> so I think that chicken shawarma has got quite a unique taste in terms of it's got quite a roast chickeny taste. I'm um, sort of loving that, the marination on it is super nice as well. It's super thin, it's not overly thick, so yeah, amazing. The, lamp, the chicken shawarma scores very, very, very well. Um, I've certainly not had a chicken shawarma that's had that roast chicken taste to it, so that's quite unique, certainly for me. Um, it scores well, so let's move on to the lamb shawarma now. So again, the lamb shawarma is quite well marinated in the sense that it's quite thin. Um, well, it's thicker than, uh, I don't know, if it's, I'll get that comment back in terms of it's pretty thin, it's thicker than the shawarma as I'm used to, but again, let's see how it is. It looks, doesn't look as greasy as previously, as our place have been, it certainly doesn't look like it's dripping of fat, so let's see how it does. The thing I'll say about that lamb shawarma is it's definitely not off the standard of a hajar shawarma or shawarma king unfortunately. It is super nice, you can tell it's a decent quantity of quality of lamb, uh, but I personally don't think, that's, don't think that's been cooked for long enough. Uh, that's just my personal opinion, obviously some people like it a bit chewier, I don't like it super chewy and that's what it was. The super chewy texture just tells me that it's maybe not cooked to the best that it could have been. It is still edible, um, it'll still score a distant mark, but maybe not as high as it could have. The next thing which we've got there is the lamb tikka, and the lamb tikka again is quite a large piece of lamb there, so um, nice colouring on the outside. You can see there's a nice marinade on it, so let's just bite it and see what it's about. And a testament of how good that is. So what I'll say about the lamb, I think that was the lamb tikka, it's definitely better than the lamb shawarma. So it proves that the guys can get the lamb right. Yeah, there's a lot of moisture in there, it's not overly chewy like the lamb shawarma was. I don't know how that's how ended up like that. But the lamb tikka kebab was actually really nice. Lots of nice juices in there. Uh, nice texture, nice marination. So well done to the guys in that. Next thing we'll look at is the chicken tikka kebab. So as you can see, again, it's big chunks of kebab there. Uh, super nice. Even from holding on to that, I can tell it's going to be cooked very well. It's going to retain. It's just because it's got that healthy springiness to it. Uh, so I'm going to bite it and hope my teeth go straight through it. I personally predict, even before putting that in my mouth, that my teeth will go straight through it. It's going to be nice and tender. So even off the first taste, the very first comment I've got to make is, 
quite possibly the best chicken tikka I've tasted um, ever. Uh, super soft. The moisture it's definitely retained. It wasn't hard work going through that. Uh, yeah, like definitely could eat kilo upon kilo of that. Just even a marinade on it. It's not overly stenchy or overly colourful or overly overbearing on um, the taste buds. That's incredible. And again, there's proof of that. The next thing that we've got is the chicken wings. So again, charred perfectly. So you can see that these have been on the grill for sufficient time because of all of the colour on them. Cool. There you go, man drops chicken wing. It was that good. So again, first thing I'll say, to the feeling, they're not greasy, they're not like over... Like, sometimes when you're holding chicken wings or any meaty product, it just slips and slides. Promise that wasn't the easy to spell, that was my clumsiness and not paying attention. Okay, so let's try it. So, on the inside, it is perfectly white. But I'm gonna go more to the side of what I said about the lamb shawarma in this one. Uh, whilst it's totally charred and outside, as you can see there, I don't think that's been on the grill for long enough. Uh, purely because on the inside it's still a bit of a rubbery texture, which again would insinuate it's not been on long enough. It's not cooked and it's not soft enough for the teeth just to go straight through. But it does score a decent mark. It's not going to be an absolute flop like some things would have been. Uh, so I think it's literally one of those half a minute longer would have done the job. We, we do have naan bread and chips at the meal as well, but I'm not going to try those on the camera. I did try something naan bread off the camera, and it was actually really, really nice in terms of it's puffy, it's not overly doughy, so I've got to say well done to the guys in that. That was made fresh in front of ourselves, as was the food, so it's not been lying about for ages. The chips I'm definitely not going to try on camera. Um, they are frozen chips, you can probably see them on the plate beside me. Um, actually, you know, let's try the chips just purely for the sake of the old squish test that we were doing on this channel. So on the count of three we'll go squish, so one, two, three. So as you can see, like, lots of potato has came out of that chip. Um, one surprising thing is like, I'm not going to lie and say that they taste amazing, they taste average, but the good thing I'll say about them is they're not overly loaded with oil. Quite often if you squish in a chip, especially fried chips uh, or fried frozen chips, you get lots of oil coming out of them. Definitely not happened here, so well. I was about to speak with a mouthful there. Well done to the guys in the shawarma grill, that's done really, really well. Good standard. Well, well done, you can, cook, you can cook your chips, shame about the lamb shawarma, I'm kidding on, that was, it, it was decent, that was good. Um, the other thing on the platter here you can see is like the half a chicken or quarter of a chicken. Um, again, I'm not going to try that on camera, purely because we've had a couple of types of chicken, we've had the chicken tikka, we've had the chicken shawarma, both those chickens were cooked well, the smells coming off the, the half chicken are amazing, so I'm going to say it on, like, well, I'm sure it's cooked properly because they clearly know how to do a chicken in here. Uh, there is also a massive bed of rice, all the meat's on. Uh, I'm not going to try rice on camera again. I did try it off camera and it was cooked very well in the sense that it was nice, soft. The rice wasn't sticking to each other. Sometimes obviously the rice isn't cooked properly. All you get is big blobs of rice. But no, that's done really, really well. Uh, so overall, to sum it up with the mixed grill, I would say overall it's going to be a solid... Solid... But you know, before I give an overall mark, purely because I'm struggling with that, I'll score things independently. So the chicken shawarma was a solid, I would say 9 out of 10, that was actually really nice. The lamb shawarma was maybe not as good because it, I just didn't feel it was cooked enough. So I'd say it's still edible, so a 6 out of 10 for that. The lamb kofta kebab was cooked perfectly. So I've got a solid 10 for that, that was, I don't know how they would improve that. Um, the chicken tikka kebab again was very well cooked in terms of I'd say a nine. Uh, so cup a nine, couple of eights, a six. The chicken wings are actually quite decent as well, but they could have done it for a bit longer, so they're a six as well. So I'll say overall an eight out of ten in terms of food quality for shawarma grill and paisley road rest. 
Uh, in terms of other aspects, see if we look at value for money. £32 for all of that, a couple of naan breads and the chips. I'd say it's fairly reasonable value for money, bearing in mind the quality of food, so they'll get a good pass mark for that. They'll say 8 out of 10 value for money. In terms of parking outside, there is ample parking for being a residential area, so it's easy enough to get to if you're driving by car. So to sum it up, the overall score for Shwarma Grill is an 8 out of 10. Guys, if you have liked the content here, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop us a comment, and we'll see you at the next place.